Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I appreciate the interest. I hope you'll enjoy yourself and I hope you'll click the subscribe button to come back and see me again. Today's video, I've got a what's in that tote to share with you. Um, I have three more totes here that I have not yet shared with you in a what's in that tote video. So I'm going to try to get them all recorded today um, and then I put them out about once a month. Um, I need the totes and I need what's in them because I have signed up for a vendor event. After last year's, I don't do it very often because I'm not very good at it. And at, I went, um, last year I did an event in October and it was like 89 degrees. So nobody was interested in buying any blankets or very much crochet whatsoever. So I came home with almost everything that I went with. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to reorganize my stuff and my totes and make more room and whatnot, um, I get stuff switched all around and I don't know what's in here. So it could be supplies, you know, it could be um, things that I've started and didn't really enjoy. So I just put it away and not really going to finish it or whatnot. So I just want to share with you guys what's in that tote. So let's take a look. All right. So this first thing that's just sitting right here right on top is um, a hat that I made recently for my grandbaby and it is ginormously not right. <laughs> it is super, super tall and um, I did make it with the intent of having the fold up brim. Um, baby girl's uncle is in football at high school and so he has football and baseball and archery and he does a whole lot of stuff and so he's out. Um, you know, evenings doing these games or performances or whatever for everybody. And our school colors are this gorgeous royal blue. So this was just a simple hat that I made um, in that sort of ribbed looking back loop only kind of thing. So it's really, really tall for the circumference of the head. <laughs> so if any little baby girls or any little baby boys want to have like a slouchy, that's really what this is about. So and it's still even too big for her now. So <laughs> I don't know what happened with that, but you guys know I'm not always keen on the hat situation. And so that's why I go back to my Ruby Stedman hat every single time. So um, this one was a wonderful project that I was super, super, super excited about because as you may or may not know, I ended up with quite a bit of yarn, uh, just yarn from the dollar store. Um, we have quite a few of them around and maybe six or seven in my little town when I, you know, go into town. And so I can, if I get a hair, a wild hair, I will drive to different stores to see what they might have. So I found some of this in one store and then went nuts going to all the other stores. Um, in addition to that, this pink is um, some yarn that was my mom's that I inherited and I used up in this blanket to make a giant... <laughs> it's really really a big blanket it's so if it's touching the ground right now I'm 5'7 and it's this tall and I never take measurements in my blankets this is my arm this is way over my other arm it's super big so it's definitely um, not necessarily a baby blanket <laughs> um, and it definitely would fit like a full-size adult um, for a throw or for your bedspread or whatnot but um, I did just a solid one of these hexagons and um, I did this great join again so it's like invisible on this side it looks like I did either a single crochet yeah that's not as sometimes it's a slip stitch but in this case they are single crochets and so if you want the the that ribbing that uh, not ribbing um, that border of each hexagon to show then that is your correct side see how you can see it here um, and if you like it with the clean join, which I do, this is the side that would be the outside or the right side or whatnot. And then I just followed along with some of the colors in, uh, you know, me and my single crochets. Sometimes I line them up and sometimes I do a chain one single crochet, chain, you know, chain one skip one so that I can go into those spaces. But um, this was one that I worked on for a little bit and I was really, really happy with it. You could really oh my gosh I just love it <laughs> see that's I always say that that's one of the beautiful things about having totes of storage and then going through them like that not really storage I don't know what I'm doing with it I'm trying to sell it maybe not 
you know, a lot of my stuff ends up just being donated to like the VFW or whatnot when they're going to have a raffle. Um, sometimes the church lets us know that there's people in need. And so, you know, like this family had a, a house fire, so I gave them a bunch of blankets and hats and stuff. Um, so I have this stuff and then I forget about it and then I pull it out to show you and I'm in love with it all over again. This is awesome. Let me count how many rows. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight rows. Eight rounds, I should say. And it's just your regular little granny, your solid granny. There's two double crochets and then a chain one, skip one. Nope, I didn't even chain one. You just go into the next. You just go into the next. So it's just two double crochets, no chain one. Ah, I love it, love it, love it. So I don't know how many of the, of the hexes I got out of each skein. When I was doing my willow stitch blanket, one skein of just yarn would give me two willow squares, and those are about nine by nine. These are much, these look to be a little bit bigger. I don't have my measure right here. Hold on, let me grab it. All right. These are, these are also about nine inches across. Look at me in my nine inch world. <laughs> okay. So there you go. I have no idea what hook I used. Probably a 5H, 5 millimeter. Look how pretty. Okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> Gosh, that was pretty. Okay, this looks to be a 5 bulky weight, um, maybe like a hometown or whatnot. Uh, and it is a little small. Let me see the circumference of the head is about nine so we're looking at about 18 for your head size mine's about 22 so i know this isn't even going to try to fit but i don't know if i winged it or i have no idea whose pattern i followed these are half doubles these are giant half double crochets <laughs> and then i don't know what kind of slip stitching i did or something for the brim there cute just, I have no knowledge to share. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was doing a bunch of little hats. This is, um, I think this is called like the Catherine wheel, where you do half of the, the spiral on the bottom and then half of it on the top. And so in some hats I did a solid, let me see if I can find another one in this one. Nope, maybe not. Oh, yep, what's this one? Yep, so like here, I did the green as a solid round. And then here I split them with the green and the pink. So um, this one I left with a scallopy bottom. This one I gave a full brim to. So look how fun. You just, you know, try one, one yarn color with one pattern and mix up a buddy. So this is, this says it will fit me. Ta-da! Cute. This one looks a little bit smaller. Let me measure this one. Yeah, this one's smaller, so this one won't fit me. But a little bit of difference, it, you know, fun. I don't even know what yarn this was. It just looks like Red Heart Super Saver. And I don't remember making them. That's how long ago they were. So I bet it was just Red Heart Super Saver because I only started knowing other yarns, knowing other yarns, really using other yarns in the past maybe five years, and I'm, I'm sure I didn't make those within the last five years. Um, here was another one. It's ended up kind of big, kind of, kind of slouchy. Call it like my Rastafarian. I like those purple and green. This is showing a lot more pink on film, on camera here. It's really very purple. Nope, that's still still too pink. It's a very purple color. Does this help? Nope. And see, I can already tell. I made it in the round, and then I joined flat so that I can make the brim. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Another big bulky. Those just look to be single crochets. Sometimes it's hard to look back and see. 
and then a bit of a brim super kind of another one that didn't maybe fit as it should have a little bit of a slouch going on back there I don't know I was trying with some of these slouchies and I guess you got to be a certain type of head to to wear them I'm not sure all right what else we have okay that one I'm gonna wait for that one I'm gonna wait for what's this oh another hat this is cute what's this oh these are V's but when you're wearing it this way it doesn't necessarily look like a V because it's all upside down <laughs> so again we started like just with a round and then added some dealy bobs for some pizzazz Eh, whatevs. Everybody wants a simple hat sometimes, not not too much zhuzh. Um, oh. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I remember this one. Because it's just giant. This one did not work at all. Can you even see it? <laughs> yeah, oh, my hand is heavy. <laughs> Let me see if I even, whoops, then I got turned here. If I even turn this up. Oh, I hate pom poms. <laughs> I like them for other people, but not when I make them. So this was a fail. This was a floppy duppy. Boop, doop, doop. There you go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. So if you guys um, saw my video about sewing liners into bags, you know what a headache that was for me. I just found more bags. <laughs> I forgot all about this. So I'll show you this first because I think that's pretty. So I might have to research the name of this stitch. I don't remember. It's a square and it's got these great, they're like trebles. I'm not sure I might have to look that up but so this was um, I remember this was Karen Jumbo and it like it's a massive skein and it took me so long to go through it so I kept trying to add it to other things and like add this orange or this purple to help you know kind of use up that yarn so this is the bag and I don't know if I was gonna plan to make the bag or if this is another one that was going to be an afghan that I decided I didn't want to make the that many squares of it and I thought you know so it's it's a sizable bag you can see that the side is pleated so there's room to put stuff in it but kind of long wow <laughs> Yeah, so this would definitely need to be lined. I mean, unless you were just going to make it like a market bag. Maybe I'll just leave that unlined as a market bag. And go put your lettuce and your loaf of bread and whatever else you buy at the farmer's market. Hmm. I don't know. So there's that one. I told myself I wasn't going to make any more bags. So the fact that I'm finding some is kind of frustrating to me. I'm still crooked. I'm really sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so my next bag, I like it. It's long, it's crossbody, it's good size. This is also that Karen Pound Jumbo, Jumbo, Karen Jumbo. And I think this was called like Garden Meadows or something like that. I remember I made a giant bedspread that was I think it's called the log cabin style where there's like rectangles that you know not everything is lined up and it kind of works itself around I like that one maybe I'll try to insert a picture here um, so I made a big blanket out of that and not only did I have this jumbo but this blue I had a, a skein of just that blue and so I did some of the other sections of the blanket in in that and my son actually, um, talking about it made me remember. Um, my son was at a white elephant 
Christmas gift exchange with some friends or with the choir group or with the band at school or something. I don't remember. And he, um, he asked me, he came to me and asked me if he could give one of my blankets in their gift exchange. And I was blown away. That was the first time he'd ever shown any interest in my stuff at all. So I was very, very excited about that. And he wanted this giant full size bedspread. And, um, there was one of the girls, I think he liked one of the girls in the group and she's the one who ended up with it. So he was over the moon about it. And that made me happy too. So anyway, so here's another bag that's not lined. I don't know that I would line it at this stage. You know, you guys saw my video there of, I still have one, two, three, four or five at least that I think I sewed the liner for, but didn't actually get them put into the bag yet. So this would be a whole new liner that I still had to make. So I don't know if I'm going to line that or not. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And then, whoops, a couple more hats. I'll show you a couple more hats. Oh, this one. I remember this one. This was my, um, one of the favorite yarns that my mom, um, left to me, I guess, you know, after she died, I got all of her yarny stuff. Ooh. And I didn't sew in a, a tail yet. Um, but this was her rainbow yarn and I made a blanket out of it. I showed you that at one point. Um, and these are just clusters. These are just granny clusters. It's like easy peasy, but the color, and then I added the orange brim because I thought that would go with it. Well, very cute. Let me see the size of this one. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit tight on my head. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, there it goes. Yay. Why am I so short? Yay. I like that one. I love color. So colorful. Top's a little goofy. No, that's about right. It feels good. Yay. <laughs> um, this is another, I think I was going through all my, this feels really thick. I think this is actually six and not five weight yarn. Um, and I have no idea. They look like just little puff stitches of some, some sort. You know, it always helps to look at it upside down because that's how we made it, right? Uh, that's hard to tell that's really hard to tell and this one looks tall and skinny so yeah that one's not going to fit me and it's super tall so I don't know what happened with that one why am I still crooked okay and this again ended up way too big I thought you know these are just simple simple rows of Okay, doubles or half doubles? These look like half doubles. So, I don't know, super squishy, super spacey. I thought maybe for a guy, but maybe for a girl with a lot of hair. I always say that, I don't know. Kind of slouchiness, I don't know. Eh, we'll leave it. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> okay, so this is another giant one that did not work. This is, I believe, Charisma yarn. I think this was a brother to, ah, yarn blanche. Oh, it's together. That's why. Um, Charisma. I think I had some of this a long time ago and this colorway. And it's kind of yellows and greens and blues and grays and blacks and massive look you can sit with a friend in here it just did not work maybe if I find somebody with a whole lot of dreads or a whole lot of hair I think otherwise I don't know that didn't work so let's put the yellow part in the front is that prettier oh my gosh it's just massive anyway anyway I don't know what happened with that one fail okay so this is um i believe this was how's my hair i believe this was a karen big cake sometimes i can remember the look of the cake more than i can remember what i made with a with that yarn so it's kind of funny um and i'm really sad about this because i wanted it to work so badly and i don't know i don't know what happened i've i had never made um a wearable before and it's really really big so I'll even have to back up to show you. So here's me. 
here's it like it would fit on me and here is my whole all of this so let's go ahead and just put it on because you guys have not laughed enough yet today oh my gosh I can't even get it on uh, what did I do <laughs> it's massive so I don't know how to share this with the public to see if anybody would fit that or want that. That is an odd thing for me. I don't know what to do. But I really like the color play, the colorway. And I was not writing down what pattern I was doing back in the day, so I have no idea who I got this from, who I watched create this, and who I allowed to let me fail. <laughs> so, okay, so we have one more thing that's kind of fun because it's also a fail. Um, <laughs> my pile. So I really wanted to sort of wing it. Um, I don't even know how to describe this one because it's so goofy. Um, and I tried to remember what yarn I used with it. Like I was just saying, I don't remember what this was. Was this a Bernat Pop? It feels a little bit thicker. Um, so it's like this hood. So I started out with like let me make this hood, this round hat thing hood, and let's give it a scarf. So here it is, and my scarf, I can double back around. Like, this is for cold weather. You're going to be bundled up good in here. I can remember running out. We had, um, we had a wicked blizzard one year, and the goats were... Uh, out out of the fence and out running around and so um, we didn't have like an enclosed barn yet we were still learning that it gets that cold out here so um, our neighbor has a barn across the way and so we were trying to corral the the goats in the blizzard and I had this thing on and you know I was not feeling any of the cold from the wind on my head at all um, which was great but it's it's not a for real thing. <laughs> it's not a for real pattern. Here it goes. It's not, you know, I don't know that it would really fit anybody. I certainly want to do a hood. I want to do like a cloak hood. I think Jada and Stitches does a pattern, does a, um, a tutorial on one, and I didn't have the yarn for it, so I got flustered in my mind about what type of yarn to use instead, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to go out and buy that discontinued yarn for like $18 a skein or whatever somebody was selling it on eBay and I changed my mind on that so I still have it in my mind to do some sort of a hooded hooded thing I don't know this is just funny though <laughs> sometimes when you wing it it works and sometimes you don't but you know you learn from it when you do um, and it was still you know still crocheting I was still doing my my craft so whether or not it turns out to be something usable or not is a whole nother story <laughs> alrighty guys so I'm all empty here I appreciate your time you know sometimes my videos I hope to inspire or motivate you and sometimes I'm just sharing you know this some of this was good fabulous some of it was fail sizing you know and all of it was like right here together in one tote that was all this this stuff that's just too big and not working. <laughs> um, but who knows? You never know if it's going to work for somebody, right? Um, and just by cro crocheting, you continue to, to be in your craft and stuff. So anyway, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate you as always. Please come back to see me again so we can laugh together again. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.